Hi everyone. Well, to ensure that your Sony FX HD video camera imports HD video correctly, let's set up the camera first. First, we'll turn this power switch to camera. Then we'll click on menu. Then scroll down to these double arrows. Then choose record format. And change your recording format to HDV 1080i. You'll know if you did this correctly if the DV light in your camera changes to HDV. The HDV light next to the power switch will also be illuminated. Then get your mini HD tape. Insert it into your camera and record your scene. When you're done, switch the camera to VCR. Get your FireWire cable and connect it to the camera. Then click on Menu. And scroll down to these double arrows again and click on iLink Conversion and choose Off. Open a new project in Premiere. Save the project in a special location. Then name the file and click OK. I already have my custom preset for this camera, but you may not. So just choose anything for right now. I'll choose DV NTSC widescreen and we'll fix it later. Now click on Window, then click on Capture. An error will appear that says Capture Device Offline or Can't Activate Recorder. Try Resetting Camera. So click on Settings. See where it says Capture Format is DV? Well, click on Edit, then change that to HDV, then click OK. Hit play on your camera or on the Capture Control Panel, and now you'll be able to see the video. However, if you click on the record button, your video will no longer be displayed. You can still view it on your camera, but if you want to view it on your computer, then I recommend you use your in and out points and log the clips, then batch capture them afterward. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll read my description for more information. After you finish capturing, you can import your clip to your sequence. But see how this red line appears above the clip? That means the video dimensions don't match. I could even click on the video and change the view percentage to 25. And we can see the video is much larger than the settings we initially set up. So here's how we find out the correct settings for the sequence. Just right click on your newly recorded video and click on properties. We're going to be copying these settings for the new sequence. I want to move this to the right. Then I'll click on the new item button and select sequence. Then click on general. Under editing mode, choose HDV 1080i because remember my recording format was HDV 1080i and that's pretty much it it's chosen all the correct settings for my camera you may want to click on save preset so you won't have to go through this step all over again but since I already have my own preset I'll just click on OK I'm gonna rename that sequence to Sony FX sequence just so we can tell the difference then I'll import that same video clip and now I don't see any red line above the video because these dimensions match perfectly with the video clip. And if the monitor window gives you these strange green lines, just right click on the video, go to fields and choose display both fields. Now I can click on file, export, media and I can choose my export settings from here. I already created a YouTube preset for 1080 HD videos and I'll show you what that video setting looks like. My 720 HD settings are identical except that this level is 3.2. And here are the audio settings. If you want to learn more about YouTube video settings, I'll include their link in the description. Once I'm satisfied with my settings, I'll click on Q, which opens the Adobe Media Encoder Q, which I always use because I can go back to Premiere and export that same video, but with different settings. Then I'll click on Q again. And after the first video finishes encoding, the second video with the new settings will begin to encode. And this procedure allows me to step away from my computer 
while it runs these different settings. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. I'll leave more information in the description. And if you have any questions, please check there first. I may have already posted your answer. And until next time, see ya. Do my hands look big? Why does my head always look so big on, on camera? Anyway, this is just an extra video. Has no point. I don't even know what to talk about. I'm gonna say that tomorrow is my parents' anniversary, their 35th anniversary, and uh, we got them some nice gifts and stuff, and it's gonna be awesome. So, yeah, that's all.